Okay, so I'm gonna go over a PowerPoint for a new patient baby, okay? So of course you wanna pull up your PowerPoint and for a new patient baby, you will go through um, all the slides. All right, so the reason why baby teeth matter, they matter because it's, uh, the teeth are important for diet, nutrition, uh, speech, and face development. Also, uh, the baby teeth, they help guide the adult teeth in. Okay, this is what we don't want. Okay, you can see this little one has, you know, a bad abscess, so I'm sure they're sad, you know, happy and in pain. And we could avoid that just by coming to the dentist twice, um, twice a year. We wanna have good brushing habits. We also wanna use a toothpaste that has fluoride in it and um, good habits overall. It's very important for um, little kids to get help with their brushing. Um, we always want to brush their teeth in the morning, right after breakfast, or at, uh, and also at nighttime, right before bedtime. And of course, you want to start brushing um, your child's teeth as soon as their teeth start coming in. So the, this is the amount of toothpaste that we should be using um, for a child that's between the ages of zero to three. You just want to use like a little smear of toothpaste, like the size of a rice grain. Once the child is about three to six, you want to get a little bit bigger, like a pea sized amount. Okay, always just make sure you check the ingredients and make sure there is fluoride in there. In there. Um, and you just wanna use a little bit of toothpaste whenever you brush their teeth, don't have them spit. They could go to bed with that, with that toothpaste sitting on top of their teeth. Um, okay, so right here it's showing the age. It just depends what age your child, uh, your patient is. So that is what you're gonna be focusing on. Um, so there's some little habits right there. So of course, like if it's a, let's say the baby is gonna be one already, then you will let your parent know that it's time to wean them off the bottle or if they're nursing, it's time for them to stop nursing already. And then that's whenever you're gonna start introducing them to sippy cups. So you just follow the, the age guideline. Okay. Um, always be careful with these little white spots. Um, whenever you let parents know, these little white chalky spots that are close to the gum line, those are little starts of cavity, so it's very important for you to always brush their teeth. Uh, big round circles, that way you're going all the way to the top and bottom. Okay, so um, we have high risk and low risk. If a patient falls under the high risk, that's maybe because they're maybe going to bed at nighttime with their bottle, um, they're not getting their teeth brushed, so they will come back every three months. Now a low risk, that means you know they're a perfect patient, they are eating a good diet, brushing their teeth, using a fluoride toothpaste, then that would put them at every six months. So you would schedule them depending on whatever risk they fall under. Okay, homework assignments, this is where you will let the parent know, give them a little bit of advice, like you know, it's time to show them um, a hard top sippy versus a soft top sippy. Whatever advice you wanna give the parent, this is your time to talk to the parent. All right, and now it's time for the dentist. So we do a knee to knee exam and you just wanna make sure you are ready for the doctor and then you just pull up this little picture and then you show the parent how we'll do a knee to knee exam. Okay, also uh, maybe it's your parents' first time having a kid, then you could pull up a slide showing them, you know, different ways that would be good for them to, um, to help brushing their teeth, like if they're having a hard time. Also, you could show them the difference between sippy cups. We always recommend like the hard tops over a, a soft top sippy. Okay, and that's how you would do a new patient PowerPoint.